collision detection game development using phaser and this is pretty much what we have for the last chapter as you can see we have the ball the paddle and the bricks but right now the ball is not colliding with the bricks so we're gonna work on it okay so this is the 10 step or the 16 gate them phaser tutorial and if you click this link you can go into the github repository and you can have all the code here if you if you want to pretty much check it out or compare your code okay so now on to the next challenge the collision detection between the ball and the bricks luckily enough we can use the physics engine to check collisions not only between single objects like the ball and the paddle but also between an object and the group okay so we have the brick ball collision detection the physics engine makes everything a lot easier we just need to add two simple pieces of code first add a new line inside your update function so we're gonna go into the let's close the html and let's go into the update function and it's gonna be okay here and as you can see we only have two pieces of code here we're gonna add a, a third one okay so the checks for collision detection between ball and bricks as shown below okay so we have the function name update and we have the game that physics that arcade that collide and we're passing the ball in the paddle okay so we have that we also have the paddle that x that is being assigned to the game that input that the x coordinate or the game that world that with multiply by 0.5 so we are going to be adding this third uh, statement and it's going to be we're going to just put it right here and it's going to be pretty much the same it's going to be the game that physics so we're going to be using that that ar uh, arcade that collide like that and this time we're gonna pass in the ball the bricks and a new variable that we're gonna add the ball hit brick so let's do that it's gonna be the ball the bricks okay the bricks and the ball hit brick let me see if i if i write it okay ball bricks ball hit brick okay so that's fine ended up with a semicolon okay that's fine let me see what else so yeah that's all the code that we have updated the ball's position is calculated against the positions of all the bricks and the group the third optional parameter is the function executed when a when a collision occurs the ball hit brick create this new function as the bottom of your code just before the closing of the script tag as follows so and again we are not writing our code inside we are not writing our javascript inside of the html file we are writing it in a separate javascript file so we're gonna go into the end and let me see so yeah we're gonna go pretty much to the end this is the function in it so I, this should be the last one okay and we're gonna create a function and we're gonna name it okay so we're gonna create this function that we just that we just pass into the update so we're gonna create this one the ball we can just copy it and pretty much have it here so it's gonna be this function the ball hit brick okay and okay so inside of the parentheses we're gonna pass in the ball and we're gonna pass in the brick okay so we're gonna pass in the ball and the brick let me check it out so we have bricks here let me just keep a uh, real okay so here is bricks but here is gonna be brick okay and then we are gonna go inside of the curly braces and we're gonna have the ball that and we're gonna use a method known as pretty much kill parenthesis semicolon at the end okay so let me okay oops it's not gonna be ball it's gonna be brick it's gonna be brick that kill okay so let me see if I have it here so it's gonna be break that and then it's gonna be okay kill like that okay so let me see break that kill function ball hit break ball okay and then the update we have ball okay everything is fine okay in the physics uh, ball hit break okay okay so 
we are flying off to this point and again oops okay so yeah game over so let's try it again as you can see right now we are hitting the the bricks right now so oops is eliminating so we are eliminating those those bricks right now but we don't oops yeah we don't have more functionality so we don't know how many bricks are we are deleting or all this stuff but yeah as you can see it's working right now so we have um uh, it's colliding the ball it's colliding with the bricks and pretty much we are deleting those bricks so yeah let's continue okay so now and that's it reload your code and you should see the new collision detection working just as required so here thanks to the phaser there are two parameters passed to the function the first one is the ball which we explicitly define in the collide method and the second one is the single brick from the bricks group that the ball is colliding with inside the function we remove the brick in question from the screen by running the kill method so pretty much this one let me see so when we add the kill method we are removing okay so we are removing the brick in question the brick that is being collide with the ball okay so you would you would expect to have to write a lot more calculations of your own to implement collision detection when using pure javascript that's the beauty of using the framework so the framework that we're using is a phaser you can leave a lot of boring code to phaser and focus on the most fun and interesting parts of making your code so you can compare your code and this is the one here in the in the developer mozilla so you can check it out here or you can go into the github repository and check it out here as well okay so it's just been a little bit of code so let's move to the next part but this is all that we have for the collision detection let's let's check it out the next part okay so oops we were in the collision detection we are gonna go into the score okay again this is the 11 part and you can check it out here in the in the github repository okay so having a score can also make the game more interesting you can try to beat your own high score or your friends and this article will add a scoring system to our game so we will use a separate variable for storing the score in the phasers text method to print it out onto the screen so no variables add two new variables right after the previously defined ones okay so now we're gonna go inside of the the javascript file and again so we have these okay so we have these variables and then we just have a bunch of functions okay so the variables that we are gonna add is gonna be a score like that and okay so we're gonna add well it's gonna be let uh, score text and just uh, okay so we have the score text like that so the score text and then we're gonna have the 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 score and we're gonna set in the score we're gonna set it to zero so we have two variables with the let statement declaration okay so it's score text and then just the score being set to zero okay that's fine okay so let's keep moving adding a score text to the game display now add this line at the bottom of the create function okay so again so we're gonna go into the at the bottom of the create function and you can click in this open curly brace and yeah as you can see this is the final curly brace so just before that we're gonna we're gonna add this piece of code so add this line at the end of the create function so we're gonna have the score text and we're gonna set it to something okay okay so let's have the score text so this is the second one okay and we're gonna set it to the game that add uh, that text we're gonna open parentheses and inside of the parentheses we are gonna pass in five uh, let me see two numbers then we're gonna pass in this string that is gonna be points colon zero so we have three parameters up to this point five five and then the string points colon zero okay so finally we're gonna have a four parameter that is gonna be an object and inside this object we're gonna have properties so we're gonna have in the font and the font is gonna be set to this 
this dowel quotes and it's gonna be 18 pixels okay and it's gonna be a uh, aerial like that let me see we're gonna use separate by a comma and we're gonna have the fill and let me see we're gonna oops it has to be calling in the and then set to double quotes let me see okay now that's fine and we're gonna set it to this color 0095 double d okay okay we can save it up to now let me see if has changed a little bit so yeah we have the points here okay you can you can change the colors and maybe you, yeah you can play around with the hexa color okay but just leave it like that okay so we have that up to this point let's keep moving now we have the the text method so here we're using the text method and inside of the parentheses we're passing parameters so we're passing the the number five the number five we're passing a string that is points colon zero and then we're passing an object with some property the property font we are setting it to this one 18 pixel aerial and the property field that is pretty much we're setting it to this particular hexadecimal color okay so the text method can take four parameters the x and y coordinates to draw the text at the actual text that will be rendered the fun style to render the text with now the last parameter looks very similar to css styling in our case the score text will be blue size at 18 pixels and use the aerial font updating the score when the bricks are destroyed we will increase the number of points every time the ball hits a brick and update the score text to display the current score this can be done using the set text method add the two new lines seen below to the to the ball hit brick function okay so we have this function and this is the one that we just added in the previous oh in this in this video but now we're gonna update it so we have the brick that kill and we are gonna have let me see we have the function ball hit brick and we're passing the ball in the brick okay so now inside of the body inside of the curly braces we are gonna have in the score so we're gonna say the we're gonna set the score uh, increment the plus increment to 10 semicolon and this is pretty much a saying score is pretty much set to the score plus 10 so this is pretty much like that the addition increment okay okay so we have the score let me see what else do we have we have also the score text okay so we have the score text and i have it here and again you can just pretty much type in a score and then you can hover over it uh, let me see here and pretty much you can read the definition let the score number here let the score any okay and here we have the let score and we're, we're going to use a, a method and it's going to be the set let me see it's going to be the set the set text okay like that the set text and we are going to pass in we are going to pass in the points but for that we're going to use back text and we are going to have them um, points we're going to open curly braces no we're going to pass in points colon and then dollar sign and then curly braces like that and now we're gonna pass in the the variable that is gonna be a score okay and we're gonna end this statement with a semicolon so that's fine at this point so let me see what ball is declared but its value never read so let me see i'm gonna check something here maybe let ball so we have a here ball ball okay so yeah everything is fine yeah okay everything is fine up to this point let me okay what else do we have here so we have added all this piece of code so uh oops yeah let me see what is going on okay so as you can see we are starting from 10 now 20 let me see well, I have 30 points now I have 40 so as long as you hit those bricks you're destroying it and winning points so now okay I lost that's fine let me see 
That's it for now. Reload your index.html and check that score. Updates on every brick hit. Now compare your code. You can check the finished code for this lesson, so you can check it out right here. Okay, so we have this piece of code here, or you can go into the GitHub repository. But yeah, this is pretty much all that we have for the for the score. And let's just let's play it. Let's play it. Okay, let's see if I can win. Okay, so we have 20 points. Let me see. Uh, and right now I only have the functionality using my my cursor, so I cannot move the the keyboard. So I'm just I'm just doing it with the mouser. In my case, I'm just moving it with my finger on my laptop. Oops, <laughs> and I lost. So yeah, that's pretty much all that we have for now.